what's going on lads and ladies today we are going to smash out another gym sesh uh it is i've also had a bit of a feed just some nutrient and oats i'm pretty hungry i can't lie so i'm gonna cook up a mana feed let that digest give it about 40 minutes ish we're supposed to be doing singles squats i've actually lost my mojo like i was real frustrated um i failed my squats single for week two 257.5 four times like I went for it, and every single time I failed, bro, I'll, I'll roll the clips. <laughs> I kept failing, and again and again, and you, uh, like you can tell, uh, I know the strengths there. It was more so the form, like I'd sink, not necessarily too deep, but just out of the time, like compared to the rest of my body. It just sucks, but like, you know, those sessions happen, those that stuff happens, so you just gotta accept it, take a step back, acknowledge it, and then figure out what you're gonna do next. You, you can't just sit down and just have a little sook, it's cause then you get nowhere and you make no progress. Let's go make that feed real quick. Boom, so we just cooked up some of the most fluffiest, delicious, eggs and then i got a carrot and some tuna see we're gonna go smash that back real quick and smash back old gym sesh get locked in the zone warm up and you guys know the drill boom okay we smash that food back i grabbed some nuts as well i've been eating heaps of the trail mix it's like almonds cashews i think there's some chocolate in there cranberries it's actually quite nice packed with carbs energy also got heaps of micronutrients and i think there's a decent amount of protein in there highly recommend i just hate training like on an empty stomach like I feel like I'm gonna get sick. Like when I had morning trainings for those that don't know, I used to play hockey in high school. Didn't really like it that much, but I was good at it. We had morning trainings. They start at 5.45 and I used to get up at around 5.15. No, I actually used to get up at around 5.30. Um, and bro, some mornings, holy heck, it was cold. Eh? And then not have anything to eat and go there. And it's the worst, worst, because I hate training on anything on an empty stomach. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. So I used to always have at least like a small breakfast. And it's the same with the gym. I hate training on an empty stomach. Feel not energized. Average, you know? <laughs> you don't, I don't want to feel average. <laughs> and nor have an average gym sesh. average i wasn't even fully locked in like zoned in compared to what i am normally in most of my sets this callus right here that's really tender skin on the left but that's gonna tear so i'm gonna go grab my nail clippers trim it have tape on it as you can see there and there i'm gonna take that off that was because when i first got the bar it was brand new there was like oil on it like weird i don't know would have been to prevent it to corrode or something i don't know and it made it real slippery and yuck this is why i had tape Okay, so we 
just finished up those deadlifts. They went too bad. Uh, the first set was a bit average, but I felt I, I felt a bit average. But that's not not to give any excuses or anything. After that last set, I mean, I had felt it through. I, I got a bit of pain in my. I think it's more so under my rib than anything. I talked to my mum about it because she, she's a nurse. She said to bring my brother, who's also a nurse. He said basically just to get it. It's better to get it checked out in person because obviously I'm not gonna cut my session out like just because of that. It's not even that that bad to be honest. With you. That last set right there was a bit of a was a bit of a grind. It's slower than I'd like, but now I think about it, 147.5. That's almost 150 kilos. I did it for five ribs, and pretty much all of them. I haven't checked the video, obviously, but I feel like pretty much all of them, except the last one, was fairly strict. But I can't be can't be discouraged off one set. You know, you can't leave that one set uh, ruin the rest of the workout. You can't just like how you can't let one workout ruin the rest of your block of training. As I said, the quote, follow the plan, not your mood. Your mood will change all this or that. But in the long run, if you stick to it, you're going to get it. You'll get it. You know, I've, I've, I've thought about, like, doing more of these types of videos where I talk, talk to you guys, or, like, just vent. But, like, my mind, I overthink so much. <laughs> it's hard to stay in one point. I, although it sounds cliche, but sometimes I overthink about overthinking. I, the thing is, I've overthought so much that I've already thought about this conversation in my head <laughs> and I've thought about it not once or twice, quite a few times but I've never actually, I guess, spoken it out you could look at it as like a negative thing like a, God's given you this fault but however, I step back and I think about it I mean, I, yes I overthink and sometimes it causes me to worry about the things that aren't even that, that deep I think it was about the worst or I don't know whatever it's also sometimes a blessing because some of you have commented saying like how some of the stuff I've said is quite deep like but that's, that's where I think I get it from it allows me to go deep just be real like real with things this is also another cliche saying because a lot of people say it, but I feel like a lot of people say it, but they don't actually really seek the meaning for it but you gotta follow god's plan i don't know if you guys can see god will provide yeah a lot of you guys that know or don't know but i am christian or catholic to be specific you know i feel like anything anything you say or, or do you'll always be judged so that's why you just do it anyway you're never going to make everyone happy regardless there's, there's always going to be those haters david goggins said that quite in a lot of his videos but, you know if, if you really want to go deep there's some deep stuff in the bible i feel like it's one of the best books a compilation of books. That, that picture right there was actually a gift to my dad when he was sick. Not actually sure who from. The one thing that has stuck with me, I, I've actually quoted the Bible a few times and you kind of made like a connection with it in terms of self-improvement, motivational stuff, but like one deep thing that my dad told me was the Bible it stands for the best instructions before leaving it. We're all gonna die, you know. We might as well learn about what's important before. There's a there's a quote um, from the Bible. I say from Ecclesiastes 11:4. But there are some things that you cannot be sure of. You must take a chance. If you wait for the perfect weather, you will never plant your seeds. If you are afraid that every cloud will bring rain, you will never harvest your crops. You don't have to be perfect at it. You don't have to be good at it. But not right now. But if you take action, you stay consistent, you you will succeed. It speaks in itself. You you just have to, just, plain and simple, just do it. You, you can't just put it off or wait for the perfect time. There is no such thing as the perfect time. You you create that perfect time. But that's just me. Got a vent, but let's let's out this next set. I thought I'd be the only one. The only one for you The only one for you The only one for you 
That was hard. I get real sore calluses, man. <laughs> there. Still got two more sets of this. One more set of bench. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Training does get hard, you know. If you do the same as everyone else, you're gonna be the same. That's why you gotta push when other people would give up. I've got so many quotes because I overthink so much about it, but another good quote that really hits hard is, you gotta just remember, it's hard to beat a person that never gives up. Like, think about it, if you're, if you don't give up, it's, it's hard to beat you. If you're winning and you're trying to push forward and you're, you see someone behind you, even if they are behind you, but they're catching up and they're constantly not giving up, they're constantly making sore steps, even though they are behind you. It messes with that, that person mentally, knowing that there's someone behind you. Okay, so we're gonna hit out this 217.5. I'm gonna go for five reps. I just made a bit of food because I need to do this set. And I'm gonna try to do one more set. And I got a boost to work. I literally have to be in work in 11 minutes. I'm trying to squeeze two sets in, bro. Crazy. I wasn't too bad. This is out this last set. Yeah, the weights away. Good to have a shower, a moldy shower. If you know, you know. Yeah. Let's get, let's get out of here. I thought I'd 